Ladies and gentlemen, I've got some absolutely massive news. This is going to be a relatively brief video, but this is the largest audience I have. Yes, that's you. You're part of the largest audience that I have. It's here on YouTube and I'd like to share it. Number one, I am playing another chess tournament. It is nine rounds and it is a round robin event, 10 players. It is for a Grandmaster Norm and I will tell you all about it in a moment. It begins tomorrow on September 2nd and it lasts until September 7th. Just like the Vegas tournament, I will be posting recaps on this channel uh, and a major part of me playing in these tournaments is your support. I'm not joking. Uh, the last recaps that I did in Vegas had like four or 500,000 views. You were all massively invested. And now this is the first tournament that I'm playing once I officially made the step to start training actively the Grandmaster title doing a lot of lessons, a lot of training behind the scenes, and uploading the content as well. The second thing that I would like to tell you is that I have, as of today, launched my intermediate bootcamp. It is a course that's about six hours long that's designed for folks that are too strong for my beginner bootcamp, rated about eight, 900. That's like the highest point of the beginner bootcamp. Eight, 900 till about 16, 1700 rating. It is a massive course. I am going to educate you on the way to study openings with white and with the black pieces based on all of your opponent's responses. There is strategic training, there is tactical training, pawn play, piece play, creating attacks, defending, practical endgame examples, and sample games against subscribers. The link is in the description, and the entire time I'm playing my tournament, this course will be 25% off, as well as all courses on the website. The link is in the description. And it, I work really hard on this, and I think it will really, really help a lot of you uh, break past any sort of barriers that you have. So those are my two announcements in two minutes or less. Uh, at, since this video is coming out right now, I'm scheduling it on YouTube. Hey, stop rattling. My air conditioner likes to rattle. Uh, when we schedule this on YouTube, the courses are already live on the website. You can go check them out. And now to get into the tournament and what this is all about. So, as I mentioned, I am playing a, a round robin event. What does that mean? A round robin is a tournament where you know all of your opponents in advance. Uh, it is the Labor Day, uh, GM I am Norm Invitational, uh, Charlotte Chess Center, and uh, I'm in GM Group B. Now, if you take a look at the starting list, I'm the lowest rated player, and it's not close. It's 15 points until the next guy, and 58 points, and then it's 100. It is 100 points beyond that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm mildly underrated, but I have all my, all my, all my pairings here. The point of a 10 player event is you, need, you know what you need to score to achieve a GM norm, which is not necessarily my goal. My goal is to play good chess and you know all your pairings beforehand. So you don't need to wait, you actually already know. Uh, I'm playing in the first round against Grandmaster Mark Paragua. He's originally from the Philippines, I believe still the Federation Philippines, uh, and he's living in the United States. After that, I have the black pieces versus very strong Joshua Sheng. Then I have the white pieces versus Brandon Jacobson. I've played him a couple times. He actually got his first GM norm by beating me and clinching it uh, with the same colors. So I got to get some revenge. And the link will be in the description to all this. But the interesting thing about my section is that if you look at the IMs, Andrew Hong, Nicholas Theodoro, Joshua Shang, Justin Wang, um, and then you go to the FIDE page. This is for the United States. This is for the United States. So if you look over here, Joshua Sheng, who's in my section, has two GM norms. He is one norm away from becoming, from getting the, the, the three norms required to become a grandmaster, and he's about 40 rating points away. Andrew Hong has two GM norms. These are borderline grandmasters in my section. I don't know if Justin Wang, no, Justin Wang doesn't seem to have uh, any GM norms just yet, but here's Chris Yu, who I've played, and other players participating in the event in the other section. Safal Bora, two GM norms himself. So he's very strong also, although he did get them some time ago. Looks like he's making the bush again. So this is on the FIDE page. This shows you which players in your country have um, GM norms. And uh, I believe Nicholas Theodoro is from Greece. And I wouldn't be shocked if he has some GM norms. He has two. So Nicholas Theodoro also has two GM norms. And he's also in IM and he's also in my section. So it's been pretty difficult uh, preparing for these folks. I, I think Casa Corley might have one as well. Actually, now that we're here, just to, just, just to show you the quality of opposition that we're going up against, Casa has two. Casa also has two GM norms. Uh, so, yeah, our work is cut out for us, folks. Uh, if we just go back for a moment, I want to also show you a little bit about the preparation and what goes into this. So, since I know all my opponents prior, 
Uh, the way the way this works is, um, like, let's say in the first round, I've got the white pieces. I'm playing Grandmaster Mark Paragua. I look up his database. I look up some of the stuff that he plays. Uh, I know that, you know, he likes to play the, uh, the King's Indian defense, uh, which is this, of course, D4, Knight, F6. Uh, he likes to play the King's Indian, and he likes to play the Grunfeld. So on the third move, he might play D5. Well, now that I know that, right, the chances of him surprising me with something slightly go down because he obviously has a career of playing two major openings, which are very reliable. He doesn't play any garbage. And I need to come up with a line, and we're going to kind of battle. But the thing is, at, at these events, since you know that people have a degree of, uh, of, of preparation and they know your openings prior, they're, they might surprise you. They might play, I don't know, D45. Whoa, that's not something they play very often. So now we got to, because they know you've spent some time preparing something like this. Um, and my future opponents are relatively unpredictable. Like in the last round, I'm playing um, Tianqi uh, Wang, and uh, who I believe goes by Steve. Um, and uh, his openings are unbelievably unpredictable. I was like looking at some of his lines. I'm like, geez, I have no idea. I'm just getting a headache looking at this stuff. So uh, he's very difficult to prepare for. Whereas like um, there's an individual in my section from Canada, Grandmaster Thomas uh, Roussel Rousman, who, by the way, can we just very quickly address that? Can we just... Folks, this is going to be like the Olympic Derby right here. Rosman versus Rusman. Like, that, that is the stuff that content is made of. All right, let the best uh, Rusman win. Rosman? Rusman? So, uh, his opening repertoire is more or less consistent, so I can come and potentially, you know, ha have a surprise weapon. With the black pieces, uh, since Vegas, I've done some work, you know, against Knight 2F3, for example. Uh, I was playing G6 there a lot, uh, as well, against D4 uh, and C4. And my opponents uh, in, in this tournament, you know, have relatively consistent repertoire. Some are pretty unpredictable, but I plan to trot out maybe a modern, uh, maybe some more central-based stuff. But, you know, I can't, I can't be leaking everything right now. They might be watching. Uh, if you want to catch the tournament live, the schedule of the tournament is right here. Let me just uh, go, go show you this. This is the schedule uh, of the tournament, and uh, that's in Eastern time, so it's September 2nd through 7th. But like I said, link will be uh, in the description if you'd like to check it out. And, 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 uh, the goodies. So if, um, let me just quickly come back here to full screen. If you want to catch the tournament live, where do you watch it? You can watch it on Chess24, you can watch it on Chess.com events, you could watch it on Follow Chess, you can watch it on Chess Base, Chess Bomb, and Lee Chess, apparently. And Chess Stream. That's what they say right here. So, that is the plan. The plan is to go, the plan is to compete. Uh, your support is unbelievable. I mean, it, it honestly blew me away last time I went to Vegas. And the reason I'm doing this, I want to play one tournament every single month. I want to make recaps of it. I want to document it. Because should I have success, it would be an absolutely unbelievable journey. And it would be an honor to share it with all of you. So to celebrate the launching of the Intermediate Boot Camp, it's all going to be 25% off until I come back from the tournament, which is going to be in about a week. I will try to make as many recaps as I can, hotel Wi-Fi permitting, and uh, all that good stuff. And this is just an update video. That's all it is. And if you manage to watch all eight minutes of it, thank you. Thank you for your continued support. And let's go kick some ass. Peace out. Get out of here.